Yeah, what's true about police use of deadly force is that it has always been disproportionately used against black people. I'm Lawrence O'Donnell, author of Deadly Force and Playing With Fire. It's an old story, police abuse of deadly force, and I wanted people to know it's an old story because we've only been covering it in the American news media for the last four years. Uh, black America has always known it was a serious problem. What happened in Ferguson, Missouri, when the community rose up in protest and we saw days of chaos there, that was actually the first time we had seen that in the aftermath of police use of deadly force since cable news had been invented. And suddenly, the word was going out to people who would otherwise have known nothing. The book is a way of, of saying uh, there's a long history to this that's worth knowing, and it's been a painful history, and so much of it is unchanged. The catching up on this subject is something that is white America's job. Yeah, video has changed everything, and so everyone out there, all of us, should have our cameras ready to go, ready to video record whenever we see a police event uh, like the kinds we're talking about here unfold in any way, whether it's physical brutality or anything else, be ready to record that video. That video changes everything. The only reason the officer who shot Antoine Rose is facing criminal charges today is because someone in that neighborhood, in their home, at home, at night, had the presence of mind to grab that phone and aim it out the window at what was happening on the street. And you know, there's an app out there where you can hit the app on your phone. It will both record the video that you want it to record and then immediately send it to the California ACLU. Uh, so I think there's gonna be more apps like this coming along that will make us all kind of citizen monitors of these kinds of things. The best piece of advice I have ever gotten, it's very specific, it's very real, and it works. It is hugely helpful. Take acting classes. Anyone can do it. That's the other great thing about it is that it's, I'm not suggesting something that's prohibitively expensive or inaccessible. So for anyone out there who wants to write for, for, uh, for performance, you must, you must, you must. Because if you don't, you will be like someone who's trying to write music who has never held an instrument. I try to come to the news as late in the day as I can so that by the time I come to it, I'll be able to look at the shape of the mountain that day instead of all the junk at the bottom of the mountain that began the day. Because what I wanna see, if I can, is what the big shape of this is, uh, and not be unable to see that, because I'm attached to all these micro facts that have developed uh, during the day. Uh, weekends, I do everything possible to unplug completely. I don't, I consume virtually no news on the weekends. Well, first of all, average Americans don't watch the news, okay? Most Americans do not watch any TV news ever. And they are the people who ultimately whose opinions end up controlling the outcomes in elections. And so everyone who is paying attention doesn't need any advice because everyone who is paying attention is already actively interested in what's happening in the news, what's happening in politics, what's happening in government, and they're already making their own independent judgments about that. The job of your own consumption is, is not something I would worry about. The job is what do you do with your knowledge, with your beliefs? and with your hopes for the next election. And if all you do is vote, then you probably have not done enough. But if that's all you can do, that is worth doing. But if you, if you really have an interest in the outcome, you should take some kind of active measures, active volunteer measures to get involved with the political side, the political organization, uh, the party, 
that's going to get you the outcome you want.